Alright, in this video today, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to ask a question, pose a question to people who might be watching, black and white audiences, whoever. What is so great about whiteness? Whiteness in its purest form, simply I'll start off by saying you're either in the trailer park or you're in a very high-end snobby neighborhood. What do you have to gain in either environment? Well, I grew up in 90% white towns for a good amount of my life. 90% white towns. And I'll tell you something, for all this hooting and hollering about how moving to a 90% plus white town is going to be the be-all, end-all strategy, it'll be great just to be around my own people, many people say, but is that really what we're looking at here? Is that really the end game? The answer is no. Unless you want to live a sterile, maybe you have a little security, but you're living a fucking sterile life and you hate your neighbors and you can't stand everyone else around you. What fun is that? Even with all the security in the world, what, what fun is that shit? You're wasting your fucking life in white communities, people. Get out. Wake the fuck up. Now. And realize that whiteness is not in. It's out. It's not in. It's out. Okay? Then I all I have to hear about is these stupid news stories. I'll have to hear about more President Donald Trump bullshit. But more and more that I gotta hear him and see him, I cringe. I can't even look at the fucking television. When Donald Trump is on. I can't even look at the fucking TV. I don't look at the fucking TV. So I say don't obsess on him. Because he's a fucking irrelevant piece of shit. I never liked Trump. Even even in the wrestling days when I watched. I didn't like Donald Trump. Even back when I was a kid I didn't like him. I knew he was an elitist prick. But no, for real. I kind of sidetracked. But... But no, whiteness is out. There's like no end to it. It's... And what something is, I feel like I'm back in the 1920s again. You know? Of what I would picture life to be like in the 1920s. I see it coming back. And I see it being scary. With a lot of these white people dying off now, they're getting scared for their lives. They're getting their guns, you know. They're, they're fucking... They're going insane. They're driving on the roads like shit more than ever. They're in a hurry to go win. It, and not all these people are essential workers. I'm sorry, they're not. I know there's people who say I'm essential. I can't stay home. I have to go out every day. But it's not you. It's these people who are out of work. And I think they're going out every fucking day. I really do. And that's a big problem. Go out once a week. Once a week. That's all you really need. Why do you gotta fucking clog the roads up every goddamn day? I'm in the Pacific Northwest. I'm in the land where white people absolutely suck. The hardest. Okay? And seeing Oregon for a while has changed me. It's made me a changed person. You know, it's totally made me a changed person. And if I ever subscribe to any bit of white supremacy in the past, even white nationalism is an ideal, you know? Even if it's not white supremacy, it's, it's, nationalism is, is bigoted too. You can't have even American nationalism, that's bigoted. Even when you take the white out of it, it's still bigoted. You know, it doesn't fucking matter. You know, it's all bad. It's all social construct. It's all bad stuff. And I'm afraid that as humanity, we're not helping one another no more. We're going to the shit model of 100 years ago. This is what we're, what we're doing here. I don't know if there'll be another Roaring Twenties, but... I'm just a regular person, too. I'm not no upper middle class. I mean, I don't believe in the upper middle class idea. Even if I live in an upper middle neighborhood, I'm, I don't get the benefits of it. I'll tell you, I don't get the benefits of it. I'm really lower middle. 
you know, or put me in a wealthy area. I don't like this upper middle slave minded bullshit. Where people are always gonna watch the fucking TV to get all their information, you know? And I'm gonna say it again if I didn't say it before. I also came out as transgender, you know? So not only am I transgender, I have all of Toad's skin. I already don't fit with the dominant society just by those qualifications alone, right there. And I'm not saying go to the Democrat Party. That's not what I'm saying. I don't think they work either. But I still think Trump's a piece of shit too. So, But anyway, back to the point. Is whiteness really benefiting you? By subscribing to whiteness. Is what you see around you working for you? If it is, then be another one of those drones. But I'm talking, I'm trying to reach out to real people here. You know? But in this time, we need to stop the division and the bullshit and infighting that some of us are prone to get involved in. You see, the more I turn around, while I see the alt-rights dying off, I see white supremacy in the regular fucking society. You all think it's people like Richard Spencer everywhere? You think it's the bone-shaved-headed fools? Do you think it's those people? Do you think it's people who wear the bed sheets? Do you think it's just them? No. This is fucking greatest society at large I'm speaking on. Okay? And I've, inter and I've interviewed for the National Alliance a long time ago. You know? They thought I was too anti-white for them, actually. It said I couldn't have membership in the group. Because I definitely, I wanted to change things. I wanted to alter it if I did get in and if I could get a leadership position in it. But that's neither here nor there. It didn't happen, and that's it. But I just know that I'm trying to move forward. And I don't think racialism is the way to go. I really don't. I used to think this whole thing, like, 90% white would solve the problem and all this shit. No. It doesn't. To all you people out there who I used to talk to on the internet forums and all that. Even to some I never spoke to. Just have a life-altering experience. Maybe you have to move to this all-white area to find it ain't what it's cracked up to be. That you will get excluded. That you will not be like the white society in that area. Maybe you have to have that happen to you, huh? For you to actually see that. Because some of you are just not woken up, you know? You've got to wake up. I'm, all, I'm in a situation I'm trying to leave now. And it's a product of my motherfucking past that I'm trying to get out of. Any, anyone can call me anti-white. They can call me whatever the fuck they want. But those labels don't do a thing to me. So I'm going to just say that right now. I'm a person. I'm trans. I'm mostly Italian. I'm tall. I have a pretty decent build. I'm not weak by any means. I don't think I'm going to be a weak target. If anyone comes for me. But, but everyone, just got to get on focus. This shit with the coronavirus, it's happening because none of you are living right. That's the reason why this is happening. And it's, it's going to have to take a lot of people, I guess. That's what it's going to have to do. But I'm sick of seeing and hearing about the divisiveness. It makes me sad now. I'm really into my emotions. I am soft. I am emotional. I have needs. You know, even if I'm a bit of a fanatic, I have needs. And my needs is to see things get better. But where I'm currently living at, I don't see that happening. I see a bunch of selfish pale faces. This is what I fucking see. Selfish pale faces. They're entitled. They think the whole world revolves around them. I think I used to blame other people for this. But I really should have been putting the blame in the right spot. For it. That's 
all I'm going to say. I'm, if I think way too much about it, I think of my own family, and I think of how fucking upset I get at them and at the fucking world. There's a lot of ignorant people, you know. They're not properly educated, but they've always thought they were, but they're not. And I have to get this out here, because if something's on my mind, I have to speak it. This is a channel where my thoughts are going to go. And this is going to be a channel for my purposes. There'll be miscellaneous things on here, so stay tuned for the updates. And All right.